The cost of air travel has hit an all-time high in Nigeria, largely due to circumstances beyond the control of operators. While passengers continue to groan over the effect of this on their pockets and the operators appear helpless, aviation experts say proactive solutions should be utilized in addressing the challenges. This is against the backdrop of the worries that the collapse of the sector would have dire consequences on the implications of the economy. And our correspondent Lara Folayo reports. The local wing of the Nnamdi Zikiwe International Airport in Abuja. Passengers waiting to board flights to different destinations across Nigeria are unhappy. This is because they had to pay cut-throat prices to get tickets that have now become overpriced. And the increment was quite high. So, uh, I mean, how many Nigerians can afford that? It's really disturbing. In the past, we used to be able to book flights like two weeks or three weeks ahead and get it at cheap rates. But now, even if you're booking two or three weeks ahead, you still have it at over 70,000, 60, 70,000. I mean, the, cra the increase is crazy. The worries of these air travelers did not start today. Their concerns date back to several months ago when airlines pushed up prices of air tickets to at least 50,000 naira per route, a development blamed on the rising cost and scarcity of the Jet A1, popularly called aviation fuel. The air travelers had hoped and prayed at that time that the aviation fuel would become more available and less costly. But that was never to be, and the situation continues to worsen. It's not being fair on everybody get it. And people that are flying through here also, it's not that they have it, but they are just trying to be, to be safe because of their life, because it's not safe by traveling through the road. So comments should look into this because it's really disheartening. We have to pay through our noses. We have to, it's, it's a whole lot. So. Operators in the aviation sector say the cause of the rising ticket cost is not limited to the Jet A1 alone, but Forex as well. The exit of two airlines from the industry has further compounded an already bad situation. Aerocontractors, which is one of the country's oldest airlines, left due to its inability to continue in business. Dana Air, on the other hand, had its license suspended for operational infractions. This has left air travelers with fewer options to choose from and put more pressure on demand. Bro. The aviation authorities recently had a closed-door meeting with the operators and though admitting to the airline operators that there was no immediate solution in sight, they pledged commitment to finding ways of tackling the issues. We sat today as a family um, to discuss, uh, to agree on, uh, on what to do and also to approach um, the entities that are responsible for this so that collectively we can save the sector. The airline operators, obviously sad about the developments in their industry, seemed to support existing efforts by the authorities. We are pleased with the approach um, government is trying to adopt to tackle these issues. Not just um, a fire brigade approach, but to see that this thing is done um, you know, for the long for the long run. Aviation experts, however, seem not to be in agreement with the authorities' stance of being at sea with finding lasting solutions to the sector's setbacks. They worry that the industry may collapse if nothing is done as a matter of urgency and fear that many more airlines might be forced to close shop. Government must immediately license companies and individuals of high net worth who can import these products at fair prices and have them readily available in Nigeria at fair price so that airlines will find their, in their own conscience to uh, also bring down you know, the cost of flying. The aviation experts advise that the industry's players should not be left to struggle alone to remain in business as the sector plays a critical economic role and its crash will definitely affect the economy in so many ways. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja.